I will always remember The day you kissed my lips Light as a feather And it went just like this No, it's never been better Than the summer Of 2002 We were on A firefighting plane from California arrived in Brazil earlier this morning to help fight the wildfires there. We have some new pictures of those planes that have been deployed. Satellite images show the Amazon rainforest burning at a record rate for several weeks now. Sudden shutdown stranded thousands of passengers in North America and Europe. Iceland's cash strap carrier Wow Airlines has ceased operations, leaving passengers stranded across two continents. Wow travelers were already at the airport when they learned their airline was no longer flying. Wow Air canceled all of its flight. This shutdown will strand thousands of flyers around the world. The long cost carrier Wow Air abruptly shut down this morning. The Iceland based airline made the announcement on its website, grounding all flights immediately and stranding thousands thousands of passengers at airports all over the world. The chaos following the sudden collapse of a budget airline. Wow Air, based in Iceland, ex unexpectedly shutting down last night, stranding more than a thousand passengers. Like these at the airport there in Toronto, frustrations growing. Customers say the airline kept them in the dark, and now they say they are out of money, a ticket, and they are scrambling to rebook. Welcome to the newest member of our fleet, the Bombardier CRJ 550. We're the first and only airline in the world to have this aircraft. Open up the new CRJ 550. Got it, got it, okay, guys. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Because we're living lease, I'll give you what you need. Hide away to walk, you better believe. Put your hands together. Oh, 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 yeah. Let the music take control. We're going on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go everywhere. Got to fly. Qantas non-stop research flight from London to Sydney. Here I come. And we will see double sunrise we today. We will see double sunrise today. The High five. 1919, 100 years ago, it used to take 28 days from UK to Australia. Trying to stretch to the locker. Everything on this flight is actually special. On today's flight, we have 145 nationalities. <laughs> Official Guinness World Records title. Congratulations, you're officially amazing. Fired from his $30 million a year job, Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg, after Boeing's board of directors took action Sunday night. The head of Boeing, the company behind some of the world's most used and most recognizable airplanes is out this morning. You have Dennis Muhlenberg being abruptly fired as CEO here just three days before Christmas. The company is acknowledging, yes, this is a move to try to 
build confidence after those two deadly crashes involving the 737 MAX aircraft from Boeing. Boeing has fired its CEO, Dennis Mullenberg. Another big story we are following tonight. Boeing has fired its CEO, Dennis Mullenberg. Boeing says it will try to rebuild trust in its planes with a new chief executive. It has been a turbulent year for the U.S. aerospace giant Boeing. Its marquee plane, the 737 MAX, has been grounded for months after two fatal crashes. And today, the company CEO, Dennis Mullenberg, was forced out of his job. have not been able to secure a deal to save our business. I would like to say sorry to all our customers, those who are on holiday with us now and those who have booked with us in the coming months. The world's oldest travel firm, Thomas Cook, has collapsed. The British company operates hotels, resorts and airlines in 16 countries. It failed to secure a rescue package from lenders to pull it out of £1.7 billion or $3.1 billion Australian dollars worth of debt. The company, which began in 1841 running local rail excursions, has been in trouble for some time, hurt by online competition, a changing travel market and geopolitical events. The UK's oldest holiday company, Thomas Cook, has gone into compulsory liquidation with immediate effect. After 178 years of business, the company failed to secure a lifeline of £200 million in funding to keep the firm afloat. Thomas Cook Flight 2643, the overnight flight from Orlando, was also the company's last. From the moment it touched down in Manchester this morning, all activity ended. Thomas Cook's network of travel agents never opened, its airport check-in desks remained unstaffed. I checked in last night with Thomas Cook, why the hell would they let people check in? The collapse of the company in the middle of the night had caught some passengers by surprise. I called two weeks ago and a week ago to say, OK, are our flights safe? What's going to say, your flights are safe, don't worry about it. If you're flying out on the 23rd, your flight is safe and it will continue as normal. There's updates online still saying that it continues as normal. Thomas Cook's headquarters in Peterborough staff turned up for work this morning and in most cases were turned away again. Breaking news, an Ethiopian Airlines flight has crashed shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa, killing all 157 passengers and crew thought to be on board. And we begin tonight with startling new developments in the doomed Ethiopian Airlines flight that killed 157 people and led to the grounding of Boeing 737 MAX planes all around the world. Preliminary data shows a, quote, clear similarity to the Lion Air MAX 8 crash off Indonesia in October. Data from both incidents right after takeoff showed the planes jolting up and down erratically. The captain of the doomed Ethiopia flight struggled immediately after takeoff. The New York Times reporting that within minutes, he called the tower in a panicky voice, break, break, request back to home. The jetliner crashed three minutes later. First, U.S. plane maker Boeing is suspending production of a 737 MAX airliner starting in January. This best-selling aircraft was grounded last March following two fatal crashes in just five months. And tonight, a shocking revelation about the Boeing 737 MAX and concerns there could have been even more deadly accidents. The jet is grounded after two deadly crashes overseas. Chris Van Cleve reports newly released documents show the FAA knew a lot more about the plane's dangers than they let on.